think uh, social media plays a big part in reactionary information. When news breaks, it's fun to read what people have to say on Twitter, on Facebook about certain headlines or uh, news that has just broken. I don't necessarily think it's the uh, it's the greatest uh, you know sort of environment to make educated guesses on how the public perceives certain information, but it's it gives you an idea, and you can use that to sort of um, you know tailor your own personal coverage. It's fun. I, I I think there's there's a cool sort of relationship that can develop between PR and, and journalists um, on social networks and stuff like that. I don't mind it. I I think it's fine. Um, you know, I think in this business you have to be uh, willing to adapt and wherever this crazy you know ride goes you gotta be okay with with sitting back and letting it go I think uh, I think any way to interact is fine I I talk with a lot of people you know on IM which was seemingly taboo five years ago so however it evolves I'll adapt I think there are blogs out there that are just interested in getting information out as quick as possible and to consume stuff like that is great and I you know I read some of these blogs every day but for the more you know uh, wired sort of style the investigatory real you know uh, uh, foot to the ground journalism sort of stuff uh, that's slowly maybe going the way of the buffalo but um, you know it's it's just evolution, you know. Everything evolves, and you just have to sort of find a a, a a ground that you think not only makes you happy, or maybe uh, you know allows you to say, hey, if if I could trade places with my readers, would I be happy reading something like this? So I think there's a balance with the short form and the long form, uh, but. You know, like I said earlier, you just got to adapt. I really enjoy long-form journalism, uh, but maybe it doesn't necessarily belong in certain, uh, you know, departments. But uh, if someone wants to write a 10,000-word, you know, bio-epic on Nintendo, I'll, I'll read that. I think people, um, people are smart. They can see through the BS, and they know when they're getting some bot that's spitting out, you know, canned tweets. I think uh, that comes off as disingenuous. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not sure there is a right way to do it, but um, I definitely think, without a doubt, you have to make it volu uh, you know, you have to make it voluntary. You have to have, allow people to be able to opt out of stuff like that, because... I don't want my Xbox tweeting anything that I don't know about. I'm sure you don't want that either. So, um, yeah, I, I just don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the right way to go about things. You know, we talked about innovation in social media and stuff like that earlier. Maybe if someone could figure out a way where it's not this automated process or it's something you have a little more control over. Um, you know, the skepticism is well-founded. I don't really... Uh, I don't really identify with that movement right now, but my mind can change. I'm open to a lot of stuff, so we'll see where it goes.